Andreas, what a fantastic weekend. You came into this team challenged, charged, I guess, with, with making this, turning this team around. It really looks like the tra trajectory is in the right direction right now. What's the feeling like in the team? What's the mood in the camp? Yeah, it's obviously, uh, you, feel, you feel the buzz. Uh, when we came back after the race here uh, to the MTC, uh, doing the rounds through production and uh, engineering, uh, you could just feel how happy people were. I mean, it has been a while uh, for this team having, having a, a victory or a one-two. And uh, yeah, it's simply great to see that um, because in the end, everyone is putting so much effort in. Uh, there's so much work behind. And then uh, getting a reward like that, uh, a victory or a one-two uh, in months after so many years is, is great. And that's also what I like. And that's what, what drives me out of bed is when I see uh, the guys in the garage smiling or the people here in the MTC. Um, at the same time, we know we still have a, a long way to go, but uh, yeah, to celebrate an event like uh, a victory like that was obviously great for everyone. I asked you before the race what your heart rate was like because you had two, your two guys starting next to each other or second and third, but um, actually during the race and towards the end, I imagine it was probably off the scale. Uh, luckily, I stay relatively calm. <laughs> during during races because I have a lot of trust in, in my people in the team and in both drivers and uh, in the end it was simply great to see that also under this pressure knowing that we had a competitive car and that we were up for a, for a good result if we get our act together um, it was great to see how the, the team was dealing with that and I was very pleased to see that because it just shows that there's already some ingredients in place uh, for becoming a top team again in, in, in Formula 1 and that that, I have to say, was, was the most pleasing thing also for me uh, last Sunday. You've got two drivers now who really can do things. I mean, we, you knew when Daniel came in what he was capable of. It just took him a while to get to grips with the car. This will be a massive confidence boost for him. And then in Lando at the weekend, hearing that radio message, you know, what's best for us, showed a real maturity that, that shows some really positive signs for your lineup. Yeah, no, I'm obviously very happy with the, the driver lineup we are, we are having. It was great to see, as you said, what Lando was pulling off this season and especially in the time where the Daniel was still struggling with our car it was important that he was delivering that performance because we all know how this sport works and if Lando would have struggled as well um, you quickly question uh, the entire operation or the, the car performance and so on so that was obviously great and then with Daniel we, we knew and we were convinced all the time that it, it's just a matter of time when it makes click um, and it was great to see how he came back after the summer break and how he was performing already from Spa onwards and then pulling off a, a re an event like he did in Monza is, yeah, was just a confirmation that we went for the right guy for the right reasons and I'm very happy now, uh, looking forward to have um, Lando and Daniel on board because we need also such a competitive uh, driver lineup in order to yeah, stay in this battle with uh, Ferraris this year and in order to make the next steps with the clear objective to get back to the front in Formula 1. Is your job harder now if they are up alongside each other on the grid week in, week out? Well, it's always a, an additional, let's say, challenge or cr uh, causes additional nervousness uh, with me or with the pit bull when they start next to each other. Uh, but at the same time, I think we have clear rules of engagement of uh, what we want to see from the drivers uh, when it is about racing each other. At the same time, uh, I'm also not naive. I'm also aware that uh, whenever you allowed drivers to race each other in, uh, in other teams, at some point there was a, a crash. Uh, I still hope we can avoid it as long as possible. And uh, I'm uh, also here. I have a lot of trust in these two guys. They know that in the end we are here for, for uh, McLaren. Our competition is not within the team. Our competition is outside of the team. And uh, so far that worked quite well. Just finally, what, what's been the key to this improvement? I know ground, groundworks were set in a long time ago, but can you identify areas where you've really seen a change and can see those rewards now, see it all coming to fruition? Yeah, I think one of the key things was really to clearly put on the table where we, where we see the, the weaknesses in the team compared to the top teams and uh, yeah, put it on the table in, in all trans transparency and honesty as well. And I think that is what we did two and a half years ago. We worked uh, out uh, then based on that a clear plan of how we want to, let's say, reduce or eliminate these deficits that we have seen compared to other teams, be it on the infrastructure side, but also on the organizational side in terms of structure or in terms of how we work together. 
and then I think also in terms of culture, it was absolutely needed to um, put some changes in place. And it's great to see that um, these changes that we made uh, are paying off already. But at the same time, as I said before, it's also important to realize at the same time that we still have a long way to go. We shouldn't forget that only a week ago in Sanford, we got completely destroyed by the competition. But we're definitely heading in the right way. We have a great team with... Uh, great talented people with a great spirit, uh, two great drivers and I think step by step we get all the ingredients in place that we need uh, in order to get back to the front in Formula 1 in some years.